Hey Sun Babes, welcome back. It's Alicia from AliciaLeadum.com and in this video I'm going to share with you how you can open your throat chakra. So if you guys are brand new here, we are doing a free seven part series right here on our YouTube channel called Open. If you're not yet signed up, just click the link in the description box so that you don't miss anything including a free ebook and all of the things that you need to know to join us in this series. So let's dive right into your throat chakra, okay? Your throat chakra lives where your throat is. It actually covers your throat and your mouth, your jaw, and like this whole area right here. Uh, the Sanskrit word for throat chakra is visuddha. The color is blue. So as you can see, I'm trying to wear as much of my blue as I can. Blue, blue. Blue. The element for your throat chakra is sound. So this is all about uh, the voice, right? The the music, the things that we hear, um, expression. It's about communication. It's about verbalizing our truth. It's about being authentic, right? It's about being able to express who you are through your actions and your words and your voice and how you show up in the world. So it. It's really, really important to be able to open our throat chakra from starting down with our root, right? So you're feeling really grounded, you uh, are able to allow yourself to feel pleasure and enjoy your life, you've taken back your power, you love yourself, you accept yourself, you love others, you feel really loved, and from all of this like foundation, these building blocks, you're then able to be yourself in the world and speak your truth. Right? and be authentic to you and who you are. And the way that you do that is a form of self-expression. So any way that you like to express yourself, maybe it's through your clothes or through the music you make or through your work or through the art that you do, the makeup you wear, the hair that you intend to uh, do for the day, right? All of those things are an expression of your truth and who you are and the actions that you take are showing to the world and showing to yourself uh, this is who I am. So how do you know if your throat chakra is blocked, right? What are some big signs? So a very common sign is if you struggle with a lot of uh, mouth or throat like physical issues. Okay, so I personally had dealt with my throat chakra being blocked a lot growing up and it was reflected in my throat. So I had tons and tons of sore throats all the time. I even had my tonsils removed. So that shows you the power of how what can happen if you allow a chakra to be closed too long over time right um, another sign is you feel like you're just holding back you're not really saying what it is that you need to say okay you know that there's something that you need to say and you're not saying it now on the other hand it can be blocked or overactive if you are speaking just to speak if you're kind of speaking over other people, if you're oversharing, if you're saying things that don't really need to be said, if you can't really stand the sound of silence in conversation with other people, like you need to use your voice and talk about something in order to feel comfortable. That's an overactive throat chakra because you're trying to um, fill the gap of not being truthful to yourself. You know what I'm saying? So those are some really, really big signs. But ultimately, in order to open this, you want to say what it is that you need to say. So journal out uh, your thoughts and your feelings. Don't be afraid to actually speak your truth and say what it is you need to. But then additionally, look at the actions you're taking in your life and um, the way that you're showing up, whether it's through your work, your day to day, um, who it is that you know you are within and are those actions in alignment with expressing the true you the true you okay all of those are going to really truly help to open your your throat chakra um, because this, the element is sound singing is beautiful for your throat chakra. It's awesome. So you can uh, put on some awesome tunes that you really enjoy listening to and sing with it. It doesn't matter if you go to bad, just sing with it. That's gonna open up your throat and give you the energy to move to speak and say what it is that you wanna say. Um, chanting, so meditating and chanting is really uh, beautiful to do as well. Um, to open that energy center, okay? Uh, sound healing, so any kind of uh, beautiful music that helps you to relax and particularly sound healing 
um, meditations or sound healing baths, whether you go to an event for it or listen to something online, that's definitely going to help your throat as well. Uh, one thing I think is really powerful is doing video. Okay, this is massive for opening your throat chakra. So if you, you've been wanting to maybe start a podcast or start doing video, whether it's live video on Facebook or start your own YouTube channel or even just starting to do video on your own Facebook page, uh, that's all gonna open your throat for sure. In fact, it's one thing that I really love to have my students do in my signature course called the Zen Babe Chakra Cleanse. Side note. Uh, so the essential oils that are amazing, amazing, amazing for your throat chakra. I have two that I want to share with you. So the first is actually lavender. So this might be a surprise to you, uh, but the reason lavender is so great for your throat is because it's the oil of communication. And so the way that this works is it does do an amazing job at calming you down, okay, and at like getting you into the space of relaxation and calm. Uh, but when you're wearing it on your throat, okay and you put it right here on your throat it gets you into that space but energetically it's also getting you into um, the confidence to communicate your truth right to speak in fact one of my favorite stories is I have um, some, some clients who are in the corporate world and they do a lot of uh, presentations and they always always use their lavender before they go and present and now all of their coworkers ask them for it as well. And what they don't realize is that it's helping them um, tune into the energy of being able to communicate better, but also relaxing them at the same time. So now they're like asking this person, my client who has the lavender all the time, to uh, wear that before they go and speak. So very cool, very powerful. You'll know you're, you're working on opening your throat when you're really drawn to lavender. And uh, this doTERRA lavender is hands down the best lavender that you can get in the entire world. It's the most pure, high vibrational lavender ever. And it works really well. And that's really important when you're working with oils in your chakras, okay? Another oil that I love for your throat chakra, it's a blend from doTERRA called Cheer. So this is an uplifting blend. Um, I really love this for your throat because your throat like I said, is self-expression. And to really be in the energy to express our truth, we want to be happy. You want to feel joyful. You want to like be out of the low vibration and into the higher energy of joy and excitement and fun. And this is exactly what this uh, oil blend helps you to do. Kind of get out of the low energy of like unhappiness and sadness and into the excitement, right? Of, of, life and the, of the moment and you can be super present with uh, expressing who you are and saying what it is that you need to say in a fun light way with the help of cheer. So I actually always love to wear cheer anytime I go out into a social event. So what I like to do with this roller is wear a little bit on my uh, temples and a little bit behind my ears and then I'll even pass it around to everyone else that I'm with and ask them if they want to use it because then it helps everyone to get into that um, uh, better lighter mood and then we can all be more authentic right with each other and have a better time instead of just being like surface level small talk that isn't really that real and that's not really my truth um, so I want to leave you with an affirmation I did not think about the affirmation uh, that is awesome for your throat chakra and it is I am authentic I speak my truth I am authentic I speak my truth you can also add an I, and live. I speak and live my truth. Okay? So important. I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. Please let me know in the comments what your biggest takeaway was from the Throat Chakra opening vid. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and sign up for the uh, free series that we're running for you. And I'll see you in our next video for your third eye chakra. Have a great day. Bye.